Hello, you for Janiya Doubtfire. And these must be the cherubs. Mrs. Doubtfire is a timeless classic that many 90s kids will remember from not only the laughter and joy that Euphigenia Doubtfire brought to the screen, but this movie revolved around a very tough subject that a lot of 90s families went through, and that is divorce. This movie could have been one of 90s kids' generation's first exposure to the subject. Looking back at it now, we might even realize how serious of a movie it really was. Today we're taking a look at things you might not know about Robin Williams' favorite, Mrs. Doubtfire. How does an idea of a divorced dad dressing up as a nanny even come about? Well, the movie is based on a book called Madame Doubtfire by English author Annie Fine, published in 1987. The book was also titled Alias Madame Doubtfire in the United States. There's a few slight things that were changed when the book was written as a screenplay, such as in the book, the dad, Daniel, is an actor, but in the movie, he is a voice actor. Or that Mom Miranda is a businesswoman in the book, but she's an interior designer in the movie. Although we see a one-piece mask that is used on screen for Mrs. Doubtfire, the real mask was actually eight pieces of latex that took over four hours to put on Robin Williams' face with makeup, recoloring, and even fake eyebrows. The mask that we see on screen was only a prop. Robin Williams tested the believability of Mrs. Doubtfire by wearing the disguise in public, talking to the children in costume before they even knew it was him, and even going to an adult bookstore in full makeup. I should change my name to Mrs. Catchfire. Oh my god, I burnt my fun bags. My first day as a woman, I'm getting hot flashes. Robin Williams improvised so much that there are edits of the film with multiple ratings, PG, PG-13, and even rated R. Producers shot many of the scenes with two or three cameras in anticipation of what Robin's improvisation would bring. Does the animation style of the opening scene cartoon seem familiar? We have Chuck Jones to thank for these scenes, the creator of such loved characters like Wile E. Coyote, Roadrunner, and Marvin the Martian from Looney Tunes. A whole five minute cartoon was created for the movie. Mrs. Doubtfire was the second highest grossing film of 1993 behind Jurassic Park, making $441.3 million by the end of its theatrical debut. The ending was originally written with a happy ending with the couple getting back together, but producers didn't want it to be too far from the reality of the world, so they left the ending with the parents staying divorced, but they're on friendlier terms. At the age of five, Mara Wilson was already acting in big business commercials, and at only six years old, Mara Wilson got her first big break in Hollywood acting as young Natty in Mrs. Doubtfire. Her success on the movie led her to other big roles such as Miracle on 34th Street and Matilda. In the early to mid-2000s, a sequel for Mrs. Doubtfire was in the planning, with plans to have Robin Williams return in the role and the film to be released by 2007. Unfortunately, by 2006, the movie was scrapped, and according to a Newsday interview with Robin Williams, the reasons were that the script just did not work, and if it was not going to be done right, then he did not want to do it at all. If you learned something from this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time here on Retro Needy.